My next memory is laying on a very cold linoleum floor looking up at a fluorescent light. I passed out. Hi, my name is Wes Benson. I'm a physical therapist with Tier 1 Physical Therapy. At Tier 1 Physical Therapy, we have two locations, one on the west side on Mesa Street, and then the one that I work at is on the east side at the corner of Hawkins and Viscount. I love working on cars. That's kind of my passion, um, working on fast cars, race cars, that kind of stuff. Um, anyway, the place where I was working ended up catching fire, burnt to the ground. So I kind of had to put my tail between my legs and come back home to El Paso. A very good family friend of mine um, asked me if I would help him working at Sun Towers Hospital, which is now Las Palmas, working in the physical therapy department. He's a physical therapist working in the PT department, taking care of the whirlpools. And so I would clean all the whirlpools. Um, hated it. It stunk. Um, I had a bad attitude. I just wasn't interested in it. But um, again, love cars, love race cars. Um, there was a man who was burned at the El Paso drag strip. He was at our hospital, so I was kind of morbidly curious, I guess you could say. And uh, um, physical therapy started working with him. And I thought to myself, what is physical therapy doing working with a burn patient? So my boss said, well, why don't you go up to the burn unit and watch what they do and see if it interests you. Again, morbid curiosity, I said, yeah, I'll, I'll do that. Long story short, um, after getting gowned up in all the sterile garb and, and listening to this man on the other side of that plated glass window screaming, I thought to myself, man, can I do this? I couldn't. Um, opened up the door and the smell, first thing, the smell hit me, then the heat, the very humid heat hit me. And the next thing I know, I was, my next memory is laying on a very cold linoleum floor looking up at a fluorescent light. I passed out. <laughs> uh, and they didn't do anything. The nurse had just kind of left me out there in the hallway. And I got up and I thought to myself, what am I doing here? This is crazy. Um, but for some reason, beyond morbid curiosity now, I thought to myself, this kind of interests me. I don't know why, but it does. I asked if I could try it again, and I was fine from that point on. And so that was my very first love in physical therapy was working in wound care and burn care specifically. I ended up having to go back to UTEP. Um, my, bio, my, my major at that point in time, I redeclared from an undecided now. I was a biology major. I started investigating what it was going to take for me to try and go to physical therapy school. Um, it's very competitive to try and get into physical therapy school, probably more so now than it even was back in the late 80s and early 90s when I decided this is what I wanted to do. Um, so I worked my tail off. Um, long story short, after applying five times, I finally got in um, as the very last alternate to the UTEP, UT Medical Branch in Galveston program. It's a cooperative program at the time. I was the very last alternate to get in. Um, I had kind of made up my mind after five or four rejections that if I didn't get in, I was gonna pursue something else despite knowing what I wanted to do. So um, by the grace of God, I was able to get into physical therapy school and graduated from the UTEP UTMB cooperative program in 1996 going on 21 years in practice. Um, uh, very, very um, satisfying career. Uh, most of my career has been hospital-based. I've I worked in the hospitals for a long time and focused on wound care, really no burn care here in El Paso after Sun Towers closed the burn unit. I never left town to go do that. Um, so did a lot of wound care, um, did a lot of orthopedics, uh, started to do a lot of neurological work in the acute care settings, which then transferred over into the rehabilitation settings and then more into the skilled nursing facility settings. 2012, I partnered with Bobby Jones, Dr. Jones, and Dr. Kathy Roth at Tier 1 Physical Therapy. It scared the crud out of me because I'd never done outpatient physical therapy before, other than when I was a student and then covering here and there, I would do some outpatient, but it was a, a huge leap, a huge leap of faith to go from the acute care setting, rehab setting, into the outpatient physical therapy setting. One of the things that I'm really proud of as a physical therapist and proud of as a, as a man was my um, determination to become a physical therapist. My 
My high school career was good, but I kind of skated by. My early college career was terrible. And I, I've heard of a lot of people who, you know, they, they, they fail out of school, they finally decide what they want to do, but it doesn't come easy after that, and then they quit. Um, I wouldn't be where I am today if I didn't have a lot of intestinal fortitude to keep soldiering on. And it probably made, my, made me, I think, a good physical therapist because I can hear patients who are in pain who are unhappy with life and they, they're gonna attack me, you know? It, it just, that's human nature. But because of everything that I had gone through in my past, it made my skin pretty darn thick. And I think it's important to, to if you're gonna be that way, if you're, if you're gonna be successful, you have to have perseverance. And I think I'm a decent example of that. That didn't sound egotistical, did it? I hope not. <laughs> I can't tell you how many people have come in that I do a lot of student work and they, they come in and they say, oh Wes, I didn't get accepted, I didn't get into PT school. Okay, we'll do some more volunteer work, try and get a paid job and let's redo your resume, you know, do better on your GRE, whatever the case is and oh, I don't know, I, maybe it's just not for me. Well, probably it's not. If you're ready to give up after one, even two shots, it's probably trying to do something else, not because you're not capable, but if if it's that easy for you to quit after only one or two times, then it's probably not what you want to do.